So, uh, there's this thing I didn't know about. Um, I, I heard a bit about it, but I never looked into it, and it, 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 it's really interesting. Um, I'll just read you this headline to start. The racist menace. Muslims declare victory in fight over anti-Islamic Lego set. It's Jabba's palace. It, 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 it's a, it, it's, uh, okay. Uh, I haven't read this yet. I just stumbled upon it. I know there was this clip of Alex Jones saying, here it is right here. The Rancor, ladies and gentlemen, is racist. Here it yeah, um, I tried finding the whole clip. I couldn't, which is a shame. I really want to see that. Um, if anyone can find me the full clip, I really, you're the best. Um, but yeah, so let me read this article. Austria's Turkish community claimed victory in fight against Danish toy giant Lego yesterday. This is back in 2013. After the firm agreed to withdraw a Lego Star Wars toy set. Featuring a mosque-like building inhabited by an obese hookah smoking alien, followed by complaints that it was anti-Muslim. However, Lego said the criticism of the product had no impact on the withdrawal of the product. That's because, um, to explain that, because um, it was retiring, of course, that year. Um, Lego added, the Jabba's Palace playset is to its Star Wars collection in 2012, but January this year, the set started to provoke outrage in Austria's Islamic community after a Muslim father found his sister had given one of his sons a present. The game, which is aimed at the children aged from 9 to 14, features Jabba the Hutt in his intergalactic lair. Jabba is a slug-like villain who first appeared in the 1983 film Return of the Jedi, and in a doomed oriental-looking building equipped with rockets machine gun and machine guns. I don't remember seeing any machine guns in uh, Jabba's palace. Like just, like, um, he also smokes water pipe and keeps Princess Leia in chains and uses her as his personal slaves. Furious Muslim critics complained Lego sets Asian and Oriental figures were deceitful and criminal. Characters such as gun rudders, slave masters, and terrorists. Sorry, this sort of thing does not belong in a child's bedroom, said Melissa Goons, a spokeswoman for Australia's Turkish Cultural Association. Critics claimed that the palace had an uncanny resemblance to Istanbul's Hagi Sofi Mosque. I hope I pronounced that right. Um, the game Pedagog... I'm not going to say that. Dynamite. It depicts Muslims as terrorists. The t okay, this doesn't sound very good. The TCA complained, adding that Jabba was shown to be a terrorist who liked to smoke hookah and have his victims killed. It appealed to Lego to withdraw the product immediately. Lego initially dug its heels in and refused the request. The company insisted the product was merely a faithful reproduction. We see no reason to take it off the market. We simply follow the film, the company said, which is completely accurate. I don't, looking back, I don't think George Lucas... Um, Created it for that intent, he might have. I'm, I'm going to look into that a bit after I finish reading this. It's like with Watto. Were, were Jewish people complaining for them to take it away because they were insulted by Watto? I mean, I'm Jewish. I, I, I wasn't. Um, I don't think Asian people were complaining for them to take away Nuke Runray because there are these weird stereotypes people find. Um, uh, Generation Tech did a video on it. So I don't think... It, it's, a weird, it's a weird comparison, to say the least. I mean, it, it just... It's quite odd, and I don't think ever anyone in the Lego community really talks about the racist Lego set. Um, you know, racism very, it's a very big thing at the top of everyone's mind right now, um, with, you know, stuff going on in the world, um, or at least, yeah. And uh, I just thought this was interesting, um, to say the least. The company insisted the product was merely a faithful representation, I said that. But yesterday, back again, back in 2013, it emerged that it had backed down and agreed to end the product from 2014 onward. So, I think that's fair enough to say that we're not getting a job of the Hutt's palace again. Um, we're not getting a job of the Hutt again. I, I, uh, that's going to suck. Um, I kind of wanted a job of the Hutt. Um, so, I guess we're not getting that again. And agreed to end the product from 2014 onwards. The decision followed a meeting in Munich between Turkish community leaders and Lego executive. Um, this person's name I can't pronounce. The president of the TCA said a statement, We are very grateful to congratulate LEGO on their decision to take Jabba's Palace out of productions. LEGO was not available for comment yesterday. There was no explanation to why the game... I think they're calling the LEGO set the game. It's not scheduled for immediate withdrawal. Um, following this publication, there's an edit. 
um, the, uh, of this item. LEGO released a statement in which it disputed the, re the views of the TCA had any impact on the product withdrawal. All LEGO Star Wars products are based off the movies and Star Wars saga, said the firm. The Jabba's Palace product does not reflect any non-fictional building, or does not reflect any non-fictional buildings, people, or mentioned mo or the mentioned mosque. The LEGO group regrets that the product has caused members of the Turkish cultural community to interpret it wrongly, but the product only refers to the fictional content in the Star Wars saga. It is not correct that the discontinuation of the product is in any way related to the CCA's criticism. The LEGO Star Wars assortment usually has a lift to cycle of two to three years, after which they leave an assortment possibly renewed after some years. Jabba's Palace was planned from the beginning of the assortment until the end of 2013, as he knew exciting models and the Star Wars universe will follow. Um, so yeah, that, that was that story. Um, that, that was interesting, to say the least. least. Now, now I'm, I'm going to get, get, get into my thoughts of that. Let me just... Okay. Um, so yeah, I know it happened a while ago, but I just thought it was interesting um, that, ladies and gentlemen, the Rancor is racist. Here it is right here. The Rancor, ladies and gentlemen, is racist. Um, I just remember that clip when I was like... Yeah, so I guess they this included the Rancor pit. Um, so I have two ways of interpreting this. Um, I didn't find any real evidence showing that George Lucas had it to target Muslim people in any way um, when he created the Star Wars stuff. Um, and I don't think, like, Lego is generally a pretty milk toast company. They're not controversial at all. They don't have any a firm beliefs they're they're a corporation essentially they're, they're they're not even pushing like like it's literally an interchangeable like figure um the original lego obviously now they have like different races and that's that's completely great um i, I don't see lego doing any hanukkah sets i'm not complaining um or kwanzaa sets but uh yeah so this is a bit of a weird stage because I think Lego's in the right here. I think this is, again, a, sort of the cancel culture-ish woke mob getting involved a bit. I'm not 100% sure. Um, when it comes to Jabba's palace, I genuinely don't think it's racist. I kind of see the, I kind of see the comparison, but like, I, 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 it, it's just nitpicky. It's like, um, well, there's this and this and this in it. I mean, there, I'm sure there's res resembles to other things. There's other things that resemble real life in Lego Star Wars. It might not be intentional. I think the thing George Lucas was always going for, based on what I've heard him talk about, like I watched these Clone Wars uh, featurettes, they're just criminal gangsters. They, they criminal gangsters, like they, they smoke pot. They do, they do all this other shady stuff. It's not like they, they have weapons in their facilities. They, they kill. They're, they're, they're a criminal organization. They're a criminal mafia group. If anything, it's. It, it's a it's a mafia type group. It's not like I mean, there's a hot clan, I guess, but it, it, it's not intent. They there. I don't see the intent for them to be to construed as what they're saying it is. Um, so I genuinely think they're wrong. Obviously, I genuinely don't. I think Lego it had something to do with it, but Lego didn't want to like say it did. Like I think they pulled it a bit earlier than usual. Um, it wasn't that much of a deal, and I think honestly, Lego just wants to avoid the the, the complaints. So they, they, they got rid of it. Um, I wouldn't be shocked if like we didn't ever get a Jabba's Palace again because of this. Because usually there's sets like that. Like that is an iconic set. Um, that is an iconic scene. And Jabba the Hutt is an iconic character. So you'd think over the last, what, what has it been, eight years, we would get something resembling that um, set again. Because that's a, it, it's, it's the original trilogy, which Lego loves to do, loves themselves some original trilogy. Um, but no, we haven't even seen a sail barge. No, nothing. Um, and yeah, that, I genuinely think that has something to do with it. I, I wouldn't be shocked. Lego just isn't saying it out loud. Um, which, again, it's unfortunate. It, it's really unfortunate that that's happening. And yeah. So tell me what you guys think about the racist Job of the Hut set back in 2012. I, I, I don't think it's racist. If you think it's racist, um, you're dumb. <laughs> I'm joking. Everyone can have their opinions. But... I don't think it's racist because Job of the Hut is green, and we all know that no human in the world is green. I, d that's not the actual takeaway. With all that said, don't 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 make that the takeaway. Um, but yeah. So with all that said, remember to like, subscribe, turn on the notification bell, check my Patreon, Instagram, Discord, all the other stuff, and I'll see you all in the next one.